You guys know I had to throw this one in the mix. What? Welcome back to Animation Station. Your number one suggestion for anything and everything animation, and most recently a lot of horror movies. And welcome to my review of probably one of the most vicious and badass horror films you will ever watch. You know, outside of Mandy. Upgrade. This is the movie that came out the year after Venom did in 2019. It's by the creator of Saul, Lee Whannell, and it was re released by Blumhouse. The company that literally just brought us the Five Nights at Freddy's movie two days ago. So, needless to say, it has pedigree behind it. But thankfully, it has more than just pedigree. It also has great acting, great characters, a great story of surprisingly really, really good plot that's actually easy to follow and not all that convoluted. A shocking ending, some great twists, and best of all, brutal bloody kills. Done with 100% practical effects. It was made on a shoestring budget. It had some decently big names in there, like the one girl from uh, Purge. What was it, Election Year? The one that played Ila Muerta. You know, the, uh, you know, the, uh, the former gang leader turned activist. Whatever you want to call her. I forget her freaking name, I'm sorry, but... That actress, she's really damn good in this movie as this detective. But the big star here, of course, is the main character. And him having to... Well, for one, he's a technophobe. He doesn't like all the new technologies and stuff like that. And wants it to be like the old days where you had to do everything by hand. But after an accident, he not only loses his wife, which is already tragic. Then he has to get this thing implanted into him, this experimental robotic thing that suddenly allows him to walk as well as gives him abnormal amounts of strength. Like, this dude does some crazy, crazy shit to the people he gets in fights with. And then from there, it pretty much becomes a revenge tale and trying to get revenge on this one douchebag for, you know, the whole accident and everything that happened. Because he figures out that that person was connected to it. So, yeah. He wants to say he's uh, he's pretty pissed and he's going to go on a rampage. But he only goes on a rampage when he allows STEM, as it's called, to take over his body and fight. But little does he know that there's another twist to this mystery. I'm not going to say what it is because it's a massive fucking spoiler. But I can tell you right now it's an amazing twist that's going to shock the hell out of you. So, yeah, it's a pretty damn good movie. If you haven't watched it yet, what are you doing? Go watch it right now. And it is a lot of fun. And it is perfect for this scary, spooky time of year. So, with all that, I'm going to give Upgrade a full final verdict of a strong 8 out of 10. Why is it an 8? Because the villain is really bad. Like, the main villain guy, the main human villain guy is a douchebag. And the other lackeys are also just not very memorable or likable characters. Like, they're all pieces of shit. They're not really that interesting or complex. They're just there for the sake of a body count. But, oh boy, does this movie have a body count. So, yeah, I don't think you'll be disagree. I don't think you'll be disappointed with Upgrade. I think it's a really damn good movie. And, of course, the other big negative is, of course, it's a blatant knockoff of Venom. Same concept, just slightly different so they don't get sued pretty much. But considering that, it's actually really damn good on its own merits, and I definitely think you should check it out. It's definitely a better Venom movie than the actual Venom movie, but the actual Venom movie is still really good, but it's for different reasons. It's a whole fucking mess. I'm not going to get into that right now. Point is, go see Upgrade. It kicks ass. Well, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time when we dive into the batshit insanity of the incredible B-movie known as Killer Clowns from Outer Space. <laughs>